Guess what? It's May and you know what that means. It's my birthday! <laughs> That's not the only thing happening in May. It's also International Scratch Day. Scratch is a visual programming tool and it allows you to make some really cool animations, stories, you can create games, you can make quizzes with it. Today we're going to make a soundboard. <laughs> Welcome to the Super Soundboard tutorial using a Makey Makey, Scratch, and if you've got one, a Raspberry Pi. It is International Scratch Day in May, as it is every year, so this is a tutorial using Scratch. What you will need is a computer running Scratch, or maybe you want to use your Raspberry Pi. You will also need a Makey Makey kit, a microphone, a small speaker and cable, some marshmallows, and some paper card, pen, scissors, that kind of thing. If you don't have Scratch installed on your computer, you can download it from the Scratch website. Uh, there are versions for the Mac and for PCs and for Linux. Or alternatively, you could use Scratch 2.0, which at the moment is an online version of the program. You can create using the Create button and you have access to many of the same blocks in the palette. Okay. Let's get started. Run the Scratch application. In Scratch, the first thing I'm going to do is I want to change the background. And in Scratch, the background is called the stage. So I'm going to click on the stage and then select the backgrounds tab. And it gives me the option to edit the current background. So I'm going to fill the background uh, with a color. So I'm going to select a color from the palette, use the paint bucket, and I'm going to have a nice gradient on mine going from top to bottom. And then you just click OK and you will see that the background changes. At the moment, there is a sprite on the screen. The sprite is the Scratch Cat. Um, I'm not going to use this sprite. I'm going to make my own buttons for my soundboard. So I need to get rid of this sprite. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to delete him. Um, I think as well on my background, I might put my logo. So if I select backgrounds and edit this again, I can import any picture I like. It's a bit big, so I can shrink it using this tool, I can keep pressing it until I'm happy with it, and then I can move it. So I'm going to have all my buttons on this side of the stage. Okay, so now I've got my background sorted, I need to create um, my buttons. So they will be sprites because I'm going to attach my code to each button individually. So um, I'm going to start by drawing um, a rectangle. You can draw any kind of shape you like really. I want to choose a different colour so that they stand out against my background and I'm going to put some text on them so we know what the button should say. If we use this square dot I can move it. There we go. Click OK. Now I have my sprite. I can move it anywhere on the screen I want to have it. And now I'm going to attach my code to it. So I simply click on scripts and then the control tab. So what I want to happen is when anyone clicks on the button um, it plays the sound. So in this case it will be when sprite 1 is clicked because this is sprite 1. Sound. I want to stop any sounds that are currently playing and then I want it to play my sound. And I'm going to record that sound now. Hello! And I can test to make sure it works. Hello! And then in my scripts I can have it so it selects that recording I just made. And if I want to test it, I can just click on my hello sprite. Hello. And it works. So now I've got one button. I'm just going to go ahead and make another button exactly the same way. I'm going to draw my rectangle, add some text, move my text onto my button. And now I'm going to add my code to this one. So exactly the same thing, control. When sprite 2 is clicked, because this is sprite 2, I want it to play my sound. So first of all, I want it to stop all sounds, and then I want it to play a new recording. I'm just a mouse click away. Test that that one works. Just a mouse click away. And then I can let it use that recording, and I can test it. I'm just a mouse click away. You can carry on adding buttons for um, different sounds. I've just added a sprite, a button, for my theme tune. To add my theme tune to this sprite, I'm going to use my control block 
and then I'm going to add sound to it, play sound. But this time, rather than recording something, I'm going to use the sounds tab and I'm going to import my sound um, from um, where I keep it saved. And you can hear that it's playing, it works. And if I go back to scripts, I can now select that. And I should probably put all my stop all sounds block in. And I can test that that works by clicking on it. And it sounds very good. Instead of using this um, control block for clicking on the buttons, instead what I could use is um, I could use the keys on the keyboard. And if I use this drop down menu, you can see that you can select any key to start it and you can use the arrow keys. The reason why I might want to use the arrow keys instead is to use a makey makey. This is my makey makey. As you can see, it looks like a control pad and it's got an up, down, left or right and a space and a click. So I am planning to make my own controller for my soundboard using some marshmallows and I'm going to plug it into this. Um, so I'm going to start changing my sounds um, to use the arrows instead. So um, down arrow is going to be my stop everything. My hello will be uh, my up arrow. So I'm just going to change this. And my mouse click away can be left. And my theme tune can be right. And it's always good when you change anything to test them. So let's just test now. Hello. I'm just a mouse click away. Great. So they all work. Next, I need to plug my crocodile clips into my makey makey, making sure that they go into the holes on the arrow keys that I want to use with my soundboard. I also need to attach an earth crocodile clip, which I will hold on to that will help run the makey makey. So let's give it a go. I've attached the other ends of the crocodile clips to some marshmallows. Um, I need to hold the earth cable in my hand and then I'm going to press the marshmallows and see what happens. Hello. I'm just a mouse click away. Yes, it's that easy to make your own soundboard. And you know, some tasty marshmallows, you can always eat them afterwards. Mm. The great thing about Scratch is you can design and create anything you want. So you could have hundreds of buttons on your soundboard. You can record your friends' voices too. You could have a lot of fun. So, happy International Scratch Day. My name's Carrie Ann, and remember, I'm just a mouse click away.